Please. Frisking. When there's been a burglary and you're in the area, not seen coming out of the crime scene, you weren't seen running out, then if you somewhere walking like in a distance between half a, you could have run, you know, you from sight, and then you stop running and just walk like, like ordinary, you know what I mean? You just walk like slow, ordinary pace, looking cool, like you ain't done nothing, you know, they, so that's why they frisk you, and they gotta stop you and just check if you got any weapons, if you got any cash on you, you know what I mean? They don't just go and stop everybody all the time, it ain't like it's burglaries all the time, you know what I mean? So you just gotta just chill, man, you just gotta take it easy with that, and it's, uh, if, if they come, if they see you coming out the shop, you know, they, according to the shitty world law, they can shoot you if you, especially if you shot the shop owner or something like that. That actually happens in a duel because the shop owner. But anyway, I don't know why the shop owner, don't they got insurance or something over there? Don't they know how to, just okay, man, we take it. I got it on the camera, you got a weapon, I ain't gotta fight you, it's not like it's out of my own pocket, I will be given, or is it bad conditions, so bad, that they can't afford insurance, I don't know why some of them shoot back, but anyway though, when they frisk you, you just gotta let them check if you got it, you know what I mean, but anyway, uh, burglar, a smart burglar, he would uh, probably hit something, some, uh, some of the stash, you know, before he started walking slow. <laughs> so, you just gotta take it easy on the people too, you know, you, when it's a burglary, you just gotta, in a sense, give it up. Because there's a lot of people out there and the usual suspects, they all look the same, you know. So, I'm sorry, police. You just got to take it easy, you know. If it's in a, if it's, if, you, if you're quickly there on the spot after the crime scene, the incident or something, some murdering, of course, you got to uh, be, be there fast, you know. If you're there fast enough to be there enough to, fast enough to be there enough to, to, to to say like in a hun two three hundred meters and a half a half a mile or something two hundred meters not more than that you know what I mean because there's a lot of a lot of people living over there in the states too and they all crammed up in these tight tightly dense populations too so we're like you just gotta give it up if you're in, in in a in a fifty meters or something out of the shop or from the crime scene or the the car robbery or I don't know, whatever happens out there to get some cash, you know how it is. So the police gotta take it easy too. Because you, you got a lot of these wanna, wannabes that just wants a promotion. Some sort of stature that makes him also get more money so we can go to the bar often, more often than usual, you know? So there's a lot of shitty cops out there, too, especially those who don't know what shitty looks like. They think they're doing the right thing, too, some of them. Like, they know they're arresting us for nothing, you know, but I met some good cops, too. They be just checking if you're a young ager. If you're an okay, man, he's like 24, 25. He got some weed on him. He, he didn't even need to be frisky. Because this dude just said it. Yeah, yeah. After we asked him, have you smoked any today? You came out of uh, school. You know, we were just sitting there and chilling and smoking. And the school was closed and it was dark. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Straight up. He's like, yeah, he's not, he's not a youngin', he's not like 12 years old, 12, <laughs> 16, 18, 
you know. So we just got to take it easy with all these shootings. And we got to take it easy, too, because a lot of these cops, they are just trying to make a living, too. And don't go shoot cops. Just go go stupid. That's what you do when you write a cap. Old cops are bastards. Old cops are bastards. Have you met old cops? Man, some of these police out here, you know, they they use their body. We got we got a lot of good people in Norway, especially because when we don't have some police wearing pistols. They got to start working out their bodies more than usual. They got to start to get in shape. They got to start to get fast if they got to catch you, lay you down, karate or something. They're big guys too. They going to take out that. If you got a knife, they going to take out a bat and, just and whip it out. It just goes out in three different layers. It becomes... Quite longer, like half a meter. So what happens is that some of them forces across the world outside of Norway should learn from Norway and not just not carry a gun, but also just don't use it. Don't get fat. Don't grow fat. I don't want to see no fat cops. They're going shoot that guy, man. He start running. Shoot him. Just, nah, you're going to do whatever it takes to not use your gun. So you got to stay in shape. That's your first way, first choice among them. The last should be the gun. If he pulls any gun on you. Even if he pulls a knife, you ain't going to shoot him. Even if he pulls a, pulls a samurai sword, but... You know, if you ain't got a samurai sword, you're going to slice you in half. You know, you got to evaluate what you meet up against. So don't see any of these fat cops out there, because they, they're just going to shoot out from the car soon. They ain't going to you just step out of the car. They're just going to shoot you from the car. So we have a difficulty in Norway, too, because a lot of people out here, they go out like... We know the cops, they ain't gonna do nothing. (laughs) (laughs) So when they, when something happens in the fourth floor, and the cops just go up there and there's been some incident or some shouting or something from the neighbors calling the police. Good, good, good cops, ain't it? Going out there checking out what's happening. <laughs> that looks like good cops to me. Never know what you might come across through that door. So what happens is, what are you going to do? They got guns in the car. But you're in the f- fourth floor. So you either got to back out. Run for the gun. But you could be pie. or somebody choosing stabs a knife comes at you with something fast or something. You never know if there are some some swords or bats or they can even kill people with bats, you know that. So use a gun if you meet some Some somebody's taking somebody hostage. You got a crazy motherfucker who wanna beat his wife up. You know what I mean? Somebody who uh, have locked uh, somebody up in a school and wants to preach his world ideology or something. And also go and lock up all those people making those. I mean, those few people making all those people rich. Cause. Uh, Poverty is the main cause of robbery. There's a lot of robbery.